What's up guys? We just had the craziest thunderstorm and lightning storm. So we're obviously back on property here. Um, checked out of that campground er earlier this morning. And uh, man, we got stuck by an accident. There was a motorcycle down. We were in that traffic for like an hour just sitting there. It was bad. Anyway, we finally made it here. I, I, that storm was crazy. Generator still running strong though. As long as I keep it covered, it's good to go. So we're back here. I was checking on everything. I don't know if you guys can see my uh, honey kiss melons. Those things are blooming. And then my banana tree got like four more leaves on it. And uh, a whole bunch of things. Anyway, we're gonna go run to the gas station. I'm gonna gas up these gas cans since we're gonna be here for a couple days before we head out to Jersey. So it's it's not it's drizzling right now and it's thunder. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but uh, I want to try to do it before it starts coming down again because it's gonna. All right, guys. Quick update on this car because I know a lot of you have been following and putting your input in, and uh, I've been really trying to get this car to stop making this clunking noise. I think I found it. I think. Now, full disclosure, one of my subscribers, Brian, told me this a couple times. He said, check this. And I was like, I don't know why. I, I should have known this. Actually, I did know this because on a car that I had years ago, I had this issue. So I don't know what made me think this car doesn't have front wheel bearings, but it does. Um, it has a hub. And the hub assembly spins and it has wheel bearings in there. And... Uh, I was under the car because I did an oil change on this car this morning, finally. It's a little bit overdue, about 1,500 miles overdue. But, um, you know, we're using full synthetic oil, so it was okay. But threw it up on the ramps, got under there, started shaking things around. What I noticed, the brand new CV axles that we just put in, they're fine. However, where they link up to the hub on either side of the wheels, it rattles. And it sounds exactly like the sound I'm hearing when I drive. Exactly. To a T. There is a decent amount of play. I'd say, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch of movement on either side. So I'm thinking maybe the wheel bearings went out. And I think, I think Brian was right. Um, I can't affirm to it, of course, till I get that done. Unfortunately, my mechanic is two and a half hours south of here. The mobile mechanic that I usually use. And uh, I'm not going to drive back down there. I'm tired of driving down there, and plus we're leaving in a couple days anyway, so I just, um, I don't know if I'm going to get it done. Maybe I'll find a mobile mechanic in Jersey, or Sam's family member uh, knows somebody, so, I don't know. I don't know, but we're, I'm gonna, that's definitely going to be the next thing I try. I looked them up online, uh, they're about $68 a piece, so whatever the labor is, I'm, I'm gonna get it done because I, I really think that's it. That That is the closest sound to me hearing it. That, and I think I'm gonna change the top uh, motor mount because this motor does flex quite a bit. So, uh, and I was looking at it, the rubber looks a little iffy, the rubber like bushing that it sets in. So, I'm gonna get that done and those two wheel bearings. I think that's gonna do it, guys. I think, fingers crossed. Anyway, <laughs> um, been doing my rounds today. I don't know if you guys remember, but I mowed all this two weeks ago before we left, and it was nice and clear. Look, everything came back. These bush things are starting to grow. The trees are starting to grow back up. Um, so I'm gonna cut that before we leave, just so it's at, at its lowest point before I go. I'm sure when I come back, it'll be a jungle, but just trying to keep up on the management. Anyway, I don't know if you guys have been following us. Check out these kiss melons. These things really sprouted. I think they're about at their limit with what they're gonna do in these red cups. They're pretty tall. They're probably six, seven inches in height. And uh, I don't know, they're, they're pretty much gonna grow on their own. They've been growing on their own, but we're gonna be going away for like two months. So I'm not gonna really be able to maintain them. I don't know if I'm gonna plant them in the ground or I have some of these bigger pots. Oh, check out my, uh, you guys remember this? I planted this, oh, it's wilted, it needs some water. This is the uh, oh, the mango that I planted from a seed. Do you guys remember I planted that? Look how big it got. Isn't that crazy? And those are my peppers that we got for free from that flea market. I'm just baffled at life, how, how fast things grow. I'm just glad they've been getting water. That, that was my main concern, because we've been 
you know, we're in an area where for some reason it's just, we don't get a lot of water for a long time and then it'll just pour one day. It's really weird. Also check this out. This is pretty cool. My banana tree guys. Do you guys remember when I bought it? It only had two leaves on it and I came back. Now it has one, two, three, four, five, six. This will be the seventh. Now, when you grow a banana tree, if you want it to grow really fast, you want to cut off quite a few of the leaves. That takes, because now, right now it's sucking up all the nutrients and it's trying to provide it for all these leaves when you don't need it to do that right now, especially since it's not fruiting. So I'm probably gonna cut off three, maybe four of these leaves. That way it could focus on getting the new leaves up because this is gonna get taller and taller and taller and taller eventually. It'll be way up. It'll probably, I forget how big it, um, these get. These uh, Nain banana trees, they're called. So I got to look it up online. I'll post it up, up top. But they get really tall and pretty big. And uh, look at this. I'm already getting a shoot. A shoot is a baby banana tree. Now you could dig this up and move it somewhere. I would probably do it right over here. That way when you enter the property, you'll see a big banana tree on either side of the property. I think that'll be awesome to look, you know, looking. So we'll probably do that. Oh man, another hot day guys. I cannot wait to go up to New Jersey. I was looking at the weather the other day. It goes to like 60, 65 at night, which is fantastic. It doesn't go lower than 75, it's like 75 here. It's just really hot. Oh, I tried doing an oil change on the RV today but without me putting it on the ramps, which are right there, uh, it's just too low because the RV actually sinks. You know, since we drive the RV back and forth on this, the road sinks in on either side, making the middle higher up and I can't fit. So I did some research on the ramps I bought and together they hold 13,000 pounds, which is six and a half thousand pounds each, which is fantastic. Because the whole RV only weighs uh, 15,000, so uh, it'll more than, and, and most of the weight, I'd probably say 70% of the weight is sitting on the rear tires, hence why it has dualies, because most of that weight is sitting in the back. So it'll easily bring the front up. I can get under there, do the oil change, and be good to go. I'm probably gonna check transmission fluid too, especially since now that we're towing the car all the time, it's, you know, it puts a little bit more strain on everything. I came back to this tree. We had our bird feeder on hanging off this tree and that fell. <clears throat> uh, that bird house was on it. That was on the ground. Glad I didn't get crushed. That's a really nice bird house we got. Let me, I gotta go around, do my rounds, water the plants. And then we're gonna head out. Sam has to pick some stuff up before we head out uh, to Jersey. Woo, it's raining. I don't know if you guys can see it outside, but it's coming down. Finally got everything put away, just about. The only thing I gotta put away is the net uh, outside. And, and you know, we have the generator running right now for the property to keep us cool here. And after that, tomorrow in the morning, we're gonna start packing it up, hook the car up and roll out. We're gonna start making our way up to Jersey. We've got a couple trips, a couple stops along the way. Um, we're in the middle of booking a couple harvest hosts, so that's, that's pretty cool. I haven't been- yeah, yeah, I haven't been to a harvest host in a minute. So we've been, we've been spoiled with the campgrounds. You know, I wanted to bring something up with you guys real quick in case you guys are RVers, a little RV etiquette. Um, when we were at that last campground, I never mentioned it, but literally as soon as we pulled into our camp spot, like into our campground pull through, I mean like the second we pulled in, this kid, not, I don't know. I think he's like 17, 18. Sam thinks he's old. I don't know. He looked pretty damn young to me. He looked a lot, a lot younger than us. But the second I put the brakes on and the RV came to a halt, this kid thought it was appropriate to hop over in between the RV and the car uh, to pass through our site. First of all, that's extremely rude. Uh, and, second, and second of all, it is stupid. Stupid. That's... I mean, I mean, his brain must have been completely absent. He must not have one because no I, one in their right because mind. I literally just put the brakes on. So what if I had to move up a little bit, or what if I wanted to? Um, maybe I pulled up too far and I want to back up. Guys, the RV alone weighs fifteen thousand pounds. The car and the dolly is almost another three thousand pounds. 
Okay, that makes me sitting at 18,000 pounds. If I pull forward or backwards, I'm gonna crush you, crush you. The only reason I saw him is because out of the corner of my eye, I saw him in my, um, in my mirror. And then, thank God, I had the backup camera still on. You know, it stays on 24 seven, that way I can keep it on the car or whatever's back there, bless you. But uh, then I saw him hopping over the hedge. So I get out and I'm like, dude, I was like, that was not bright. And him and his sister or his girlfriend, whoever it was, they're both looking at me with their eyes wide open, like they couldn't believe that I'm confronting them about. I said, that was so stupid. I said, what if I didn't see you? I said, I literally just pulled into the site. What if I didn't see you and I needed to fix myself, pull up or pull back? And I would have crushed you, dude. I said, the RV weighs 15,000 pounds. You have no shot. I just, I don't understand. This is why I like RV life so much because I can stay away from people and not have, well, I think I can. I don't know. Apparently I can't. People are still up my butt, literally, walking through my site. But I just, I don't like dealing with people because people don't have common sense anymore. Um, or, or manners. I mean, you're not supposed to walk through anybody's site. And you're definitely not supposed to walk through it when I'm in the middle of pulling through. So, I don't know. That's my rant. It just really annoyed me and I wanted to tell you guys about it. Don't do that. Don't walk through my site and definitely don't walk in between a vehicle that could possibly be moving forward or back. That is really dumb. Uh, anyway, we're going to finish packing up here. Um, we're going to make some dinner. It's pouring out, man. Ugh. It's so loud, and then it gets hard to hear the TV. That's the one thing that's rough about being in an RV is when it rains, you know, these things don't have a ton of insulation in the roof, so you hear it. It's, it's so loud, especially when it hits the air conditioner or a skylight or a vent. Uh, you really hear it. But I'm going to pop some food in the oven for us, and then I'm going to take a shower, and I think we're going to lay low for the rest of the night and roll out early in the morning. I'll continue this, well, not this vlog, but I will continue to make vlogs, and we'll pick up from there, so... Hope you guys are all having a great night. Don't jump in front of anybody's RV. It's not worth it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.